Hello, hello. I am Shah from Gaming with Shah, and on my channel you can find all things reviews, tutorials, and sims. Now, today we are reviewing a new game. I got this game from Keymailer. I I requested the key, they gave me the key, and here we are. So this game is called Territory. This is like an ecosystem, breeding and genetics all come into one. It's a boxy game as well, so it seems really cute. Now, I haven't actually played it myself, however, my son and his friend did and they racked up an hour very quickly, literally. they That hour disappeared. Now, you got two teenage boys together and an hour disappears, that's pretty damn good. So. <laughs> They really enjoyed playing this, so I'm gonna, I'm really looking forward to getting into this. Now, it was developed and published by Simply Mole, and the description is single player strategy game about genes and animal species. Animals are reproducing, eating and dying the way they would in nature. You can, can mutate them and indirectly control them to achieve various goals like dominance in the ecosystem so there is no release date for this there is no price for this so during this i will give there's a couple of questions we will answer what's the game worth is it fun and is there a story if so is it good and are there any bugs so does it play as it's supposed to so let's jump into this. Okay then, so here we are on the main screen. It's a, it's a very simple screen. It's not complicated, it's very clear. Let's start a new game. So we have multiple different games that, games that you can start. So you've got I Am A Rabbit, easy and small map designed for new players to get familiar with food cycle and migrations. This is the first map you should play. Then you uh, go on to Stronger Than You, easy and small map designed for new players to get familiar with changing genomes and species and fights. Okay, this is the second map you should play. Grow Grow, medium map designed for new players to get familiar with advanced game mechanics. This is the third map you should play. Hunt Them Down, medium map designed for new players to get familiar with hunting game mechanics. This is the fourth game map you should play. I really like that there's this staggered introduction. It's a tutorial within different games, which I, I kind of like. Next, we have Think Big, medium sized map with forest biome designed for, ex for experienced players. You can find most of the animals, genes and food sources here. This may be unbalanced in this version. Of course, this is early access, guys, so please don't forget that. Okay, so we're getting into the game for a second time because for some reason in full screen, the game isn't liking my recording equipment or vice versa. It's not working the way it's supposed to. Let's jump in to I Am A Rabbit. So we have the victory condition, animal count limit is 50. So I guess that means you got to get up to 50 and then you win. Um, configuration, you can't change map configurations until you win at least three maps. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, that's fine. I like that there's things that you need to unlock to be changing things around. So you actually have to learn the game before you start messing with settings. So I am a rabbit. So I've just read that bit out. You are starting the map as a rabbit. You can't play for other species or change genes on this map. The goal is to have at least 70 rabbits. Oh, okay, so if we go below 50, then we lose, maybe? Maybe, I don't know. Um, well, no, because we start off with seven. So I have no idea what this 50 is about. Animals count limit 50, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section if you are looking forward to this coming out. Let me know before we start playing what you think the gameplay is gonna be like. Okay, so useful hints, press F6 to see hints or F1 to see quick help. Don't forget guys, if you are enjoying this video, then do hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more reviews. So many more are coming. I have at least five more keys that I am recording today. So it's coming, they're, they're coming hard. Okay, uh, you can change game speed in the bottom left 
corner. You can have to migrate with rabbits to new territories. Okay. Rabbit. Welcome in the first map. I am happy to meet you. Hedgehog. I am happy to meet you as well. I live nearby and we can be friends. Bat. And we can be friends as well. Rabbit. Cool. Rabbit's very chilled out here. I'm waiting like maybe a fox is going to appear and be like, and no, we're not going to be friends and I'm going to eat you. Oh. <laughs> Okay, uh, rabbit migrates. Okay, rabbit migrated to ecosystem. Hedgehog migrated to ecosystem. Bat migrated to ecosystem. Okay, so we're using WASD to move around. We have 10 bunny rabbits, which isn't surprising. They do breed. It's day 13 already? 14. Damn, okay. We have different speeds down here. Up to five. I want to put that back down to one though. <laughs> so we can actually see. So we've got 21 rabbits already. Oh, all right. Chill out. Um, Can eat. The food is going down. So does that mean we like need to... Oh, migrate for 600. Oh, so down in here, we can see that we have 700. So we need to go... Got to be within our square. So if we move... Oh my God, okay. <laughs> So these bunnies are staying behind. These bunnies are moving. Low food you can eat and find in new territory. 500. So hang on. If we exit that and do that again. If we go over here. Because over here there's no berries. But over here there are berries. So if we like go on the edge of our outskirts. Maybe like that. Oh, well, 700. Okay. I thought we might get berries in there, but apparently not. Let's migrate there anyway. Oh, look at them all little moving. This is really quite cute. Can we... We can't rotate the camera or anything. So we're waiting for another 600 and then we can migrate again. We've got 20. Oh, wait. We've actually got two counts, but unfortunately we can't see all that. This doesn't want to go in full screen and record at the same time, so... We can't actually see that. It looks like there's 17 in both, maybe. We're on day 130? That's crazy. So what happens if we click on the bats? So you can see the bats have already migrated three times. That's crazy. The hedgehogs have, haven't have migrated at all. They've gone quite far away from each other as well. That's interesting. So we should be able to migrate again. Oh, it's 900. Oh, victorious. This is a lot of fun. I'm doing a mini series on this game. I'm using my brain. It's chilled out. It's at the moment, not like on the edge of your seat, like stressing you out type thing. It's quite chilled out. Oh, look, you've got on the right hand side here, you've got age... 30, so there's 13 babies, 13 adults, no elders, and the food, two, five don't like the food, two love the food, and 19 don't care. That's really cool. I love that there's invade and protect the genome. I'm interested to see how that works. I have no idea how that's going to work. So you fulfilled all victory conditions. You won the game. Playtime five minutes. Is that all? I probably won't edit this video. <laughs> Finished in 155 days, required for three star rating, one year and 72 days. So we got, oh, okay, so you have to get under that to get that. So we did that. Awesome. So the primary consumers of the fruit tree is the bats, insects is bats and hedgehogs, and berries are bats, and then long grass is just the rabbits. Animal sizes, small scavengers, no scavengers in the ecosystem, hunters, owls, but there aren't any here at the moment. Oh no, there's no hunters in the ecosystem. That's really awesome. I, I love that. Uh, fight history? That's going to be interesting when we go into the next bit. Uh, leaderboard... The bats won. How dare you bats. <laughs> okay then. I like this game. I think this is a fun game. I would happily pay for what it is right this second. With the idea that they could bring out DLC for it as well. 15 to 20 pounds. I would be happy to pay 15 to 20 pounds for this. Um, I didn't find any bugs. 
at the moment. Um, there is no storyline, um, but I think the little text with the animals at the bottom was super cute. It is what it says it is, and it's fun. It doesn't oversell itself. Um, for instance, when you go into here, you get some of those games. Mobile games are terrible for it, where you've got this like 3D, you know, awesome type game, and then you go into it and it's a flat pixel 2D game, you know, and you're just like, why? If you spent half the money you spent on the making that artwork, then surely you, you would have a better game. <laughs> um, so it doesn't oversell itself. It, it shows what it is very clearly in all of these, in all of these images that it shows. As I said, I really enjoyed it and I am actually going to do a mini series on it because I enjoyed it so much. Um, I can't wait to see what all of these other, I'm looking forward to having a look at all of these other levels and seeing how all the other mechanics of the game work. First off, the first bit definitely works really well. If you've enjoyed this review, please do like, subscribe, share. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of the game. Will you be getting the game and all that lovely jazz. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.